Okay, so we will continue with our discussion for an unwritten wolf. Okay, so I think uh, we, we have seen the add puzzle video. Okay, and the notes given. Uh, so previously we have uh, discussed about directional control valve. So that's the first type of valve. Then we have a few non-return valve. So non-return valve only permit flow in one direction. Uh, so only one direction. It is not taking the return direction, and the return direction is all normally will be blocked uh, to the airflow. Okay, so there are six types of non-return valve. Okay, so the first one is check valve, spring-loaded check valve, shuttle valve, quick exhaust valve, two pressure valve, and shutoff valve. So these are the six types of non-return valve. In uh, somehow or other, so it will block the, the flow in uh, in particular direction. So it has a, its own setup. So we will quickly look at uh, each valve, each non-return valve. Okay, so this is the symbol. So if you see, uh, free flow means there's a flow in this direction, uh, left to right, and right to left, no flow. So you can see there's a block here. So the flow is top, is like capped. Okay, but here, so it will just pass through. Okay, so that's the direction of check a uh, check valve. Uh, so you can know number one and two. Okay. Okay, so that's on the check valve. The simple one, the the simplest one. Uh, and we have another type, uh, which is called as a check valve spring loaded or spring loaded check valve. So the symbol is the same. Just at the, uh, this point, we will have a spring. Okay, we have a spring. So you can see here. So if you have an air flow, so the air will enter here, and it will push this mechanism uh, to the right, and the compressed air will pass through. Uh, and uh, in return, so if if the air is coming in, so it will not able to open this gap. Uh, so uh, cuba imagine lah. Uh, so kalau udara dari sebelah kiri, uh, dia akan push benda ni, uh, udara boleh masuk. Uh, but in the opposite direction, dia tak boleh masuk. Okay, so that's the difference between check valve and also spring loaded check valve. So spring loaded check valve ada spring, uh, additional ada spring. Okay, then we have uh, shuttle valve. Shuttle valve, it's a nama panggilan, uh, and we always refer as a OR valve. Okay, OR, I think uh, in uh, digit you are familiar. Okay, OR means either one. Okay, either one available, it will be on. Uh, so you can see the mechanism here. So you have uh, two entrance, number one, port one. So two port one, if uh, the compressor push this ball to this side, uh, even though uh, the left hand side is uh, blocked, so the compressor still can go from port one to port two. Okay, similarly, if coming from the left, so the ball will be pushed to the right, but uh, there's a flow from port one to port two. Uh, so it will look like this. So you have one, uh, two entrance, uh, two, two inlets, and one outlet. So two input and one output. So either one uh, having a compressor, so it will on, it will send signal. Okay, so that's a all valve, either one. Okay, so you can see. So this is a circuit, simple circuit. Starting from compressor, you have a push button, and you have a all valve here, shuttle valve. Uh, so you have a push button one and push button two. So if you push, pu uh, press push button one, it will on. If you press push button two, it will on. If you on both also, it will on. Uh, so you yeah, can see here, uh, you in this uh, case, so you are pressing the push button one. 
okay so you can see the position so this is your normal position this is your initial position once you press it move to the initial position there's a there's a connection so it will go to the all valve so one input is detected so it will send uh, to the 5 over 2 direction control valve to activate the cylinder uh, so that's a uh, one example then we have a quick exhaust valve so quick exhaust valve uh, is actually to accelerate accelerate uh, speed it will increase the speed of the piston so that's why uh, you can see it's feedback feedback so there's a feedback here uh, so it will increase so once it detect so it's a similar like shuttle valve but it will be used to increase the piston movement okay so you can see here so this is with silencer and uh, this is without silencer so almost the same almost the same as a shuttle valve but uh, it is having something additional to increase the speed so uh, so you can see here so how it can be so this is a single acting cylinder so you can see uh, it will increase the speed uh, even though we cannot see here but it's actually is used to increase the speed of the piston then we have a two pressure valve so three pressure valve is uh, is considered as a n valve okay n i think you know in digit if n means you have uh, two input, two input also must be detected. Either one is not uh, possible. Okay, so it's opposite of all. Okay, so you have uh, two inputs, so port 12 and port 14. So you can see here, so port 12 and port 14, then you have uh, output is port 2. Okay, so output is required if uh, acquired is both input supply pressure so you can see here why both input must be needed so if you only give in one side uh, so it will be totally blocked so the compressor cannot go in and if you give only from the right hand side it will be blocked also so only when uh, you are giving the similar pressure uh, from both side so it will be at the middle uh, and the compressor will enter here and go uh, to port 2. And so that's the function of uh, two pressure valve or we call, call it as a N valve. Okay, you can see here. So I think you can see here better. Okay, so you, uh, you have a similar setup. So switch uh, one side is uh, switch 1 and switch 2 is connected to N valve. Uh, so you need to give both input both input is given then it will activate so you can see here so you have a roller a roller so this connected to the roller uh, roller switch at the cylinder so it's always on you're always on and you press this push button so both side have input then it will send signal in uh, port 2 port 2 to the 5 over 5 over 2 direction control valve to activate the cylinder. Okay, so I think uh, you can understand. If you don't understand, please uh, refer back to these videos. Okay, so that's on the uh, non written valve. Then we also have a few valve to control the flow, control the flow of the pneumatic uh, compressor. Okay, so flow control valve influence the volumetric flow of the compressor in both direction. So it has a few function. Okay, so we are using the flow control valve to control the speed of the actuators. So actuators are the yang paling last lah, something uh, that is uh, at the end, so which uh, have the movement. So it can be a rotary movement or cylindrical movement linear. Uh, so normally actuators we will study in chapter 3 uh, so actuators means uh, something that make movements so you want to control the speed 
like earlier we have a quick exhaust valve so similarly but we are using a flow control valve to control the speed uh, so this is a common question also that I always come in uh, exam so maybe you can uh, put a remark okay so and the second function of a flow control valve is to control the constant speed uh, so if your pressure from the supply is uneven your flow control valve will help you to regulate so there's a term called regulate so you want to regulate the speed so meaning the speed will be always the same uh, to the actuators so having a constant speed uh, will be uh, helpful because uh, your actuators can last long okay can last long if you are handling it with a proper care okay then uh, as a cushioning tool of actuators cushioning tool uh, meaning uh, you are using the compressor to provide a cushion cushion for the cylinder because if uh, you know pneumatics they are very fast so you supply air it will immediately it will uh, it will start uh, so it will extend or retract uh, so you will need to have a cushioning uh, from at the both side so that you can uh, modify uh, the inlet so that the compressed air will escape uh, in uh, from through the uh, through the setup to provide a cushioning so meaning when it enters at the end it will slow down slow down so that it will reduce the impact so that is what we call as a cushioning so you are using a flow control valve to provide a cushioning to the actuators then you also want to control the heavy loads okay so there are uh, two types of flow control valve we call as a total valve and and you we have a one way flow control valve okay total valve it will look like this so you will have uh, adjusters uh, on top something that you tighten or loosen okay so this is the symbol of a uh, total valve so it's normally adjustable so you can adjust how much this opening you want it to be okay so if you open only a little so only a little will enter to the next stage and if you open more so more will enter and if you tighten it and uh, slow so no flow will be going uh, so this is similar like our water tap in the house. So PD, pili the karuma. So kalau you buka sikit, so air akan keluar sikit. So kalau you buka banyak, air akan keluar banyak. If you tutup, uh, so no flow. Uh, so throttle valve is similar like our water tap in the house. Okay, so throttle valve are used to control the speed of cylinders. So you can use this to control the speed of the cylinder. How fast uh, it extends or retracts. So care must be taken that the total valve does not close fully. So if you close fully, so how much input you give at the valve point, uh, the cylinder won't extend. So that's why they say, uh, and it will cause a hammering effect. Hammering effect meaning, so flow keep on maso, tapi it's not open. So it will, uh, the, the, the hose or the pipe, so it will uh, have defect. Uh, so you must handle with care. So then we have a one-way flow control valve. So one-way flow control valve, normally it only allow airflow in one direction, similar like non-return valve, but this is attached to the flow control valve. So that's why you can see here. So you have a flow control valve and you have a non-return valve okay, attached in the symbol. Uh, so it's uh, two in one. So two in one. So you can see. Um, okay, so uh, so you you have an adjuster uh, as well. So if the flow is coming from this side, it cannot open this uh, locks. But if the flow is coming from the opposite direction, so it can push this lock and the air can go to uh, the the other direction. Okay, uh, similar like this. So if coming from here, it will be locked. 
Uh, so you have to check valve here. Uh, but if you come in from this side, it will push and the air will flow. Okay, so that's another term. Uh, quite popular question also. Okay, what is supply air throttling and also exhaust air throttling? So there are two types of throttling. Uh, so throttling, air throttling is uh, something that you can do with one-way flow control valve. Okay, so as you can see, so we, we attach here. Okay, so we know uh, when uh, you have a flow control valve here and you have check valve here, so it will normally check which direction because when the, the pressure enters here, as you can see, it's uh, normally open. So uh, the air is entering here. So once it comes here, so it will check whether it can pass by here or pass by here. Okay, so in this case, so it will be blocked. So you have a, a enclosure here, so the pressure will be dropped. So uh, this concept, concept much upering tang. Okay, so similar concept as a resistor. So if the flow cannot go here, so it will force to pass by here. So when it passed by here, so the speed will be controlled. Okay, so that is what we call as a supply air throttling. So it is attached to the supply air. Okay, so supply air is here. Is attached to this side, uh, so you can have uh, uh, this this uh, setup. So it attached to the supply air. So meaning, so when it enters here, so it will it will be uh, controlled. So meaning, uh, the retraction will be controlled, and the extension. So you can see the compressed air will be in both sides. So, kalau udara masuk, it will push this piston to the back and uh, you will have air at the back to enter. Uh, so, uh, for supply air throttling, it will be uh, at the supply, uh, at the entrance of the cylinder. Uh, udara yang akan masuk dekat cylinder, it will be controlled. And we have an exhaust air. So exhaust air, it, it will be controlled at the exhaust side. Uh, sebab udara ada dekat both side. So, if kalau udara masuk, slider push, udara yang ada dekat belakang ni, dia akan keluar. Uh, so, it will go out. So, exhaust air throttling. Uh, so, you are putting at the uh, back of the slider. Okay, so back of the cylinder, so that uh, even though the compressor entering is pushing the piston, but the air going out will be controlled. Uh, so it's a it's a mechanism as almost similar like cushioning, almost similar like cushioning in order to reduce the impacts. Okay. Then we also have a pressure control valves. Okay, so pressure control valve, I think from the name we know, so it is used to control the pressure. Okay, so kita nak gunakan untuk control the pressure. So, uh, pressure, uh, boleh baca dekat sini. So pressure may gradually build up due to decrease in fluid demand and due to sudden surge as valve open or closes. Pressure control valve protect the system Again, such overpressure. Uh, okay, so if suddenly the air supply uh, demand is uh, re reduced, so the pressure can go up. Uh, sudden pressure. So kita pagi as sudden surge, or we call it as overpressure. Uh, so pressure control valve normally it will control, it will maintain the pressure at certain level uh, for your application. Okay, uh, so this is another common question. So common question. Uh, so what's the uh, three types of uh, pressure control valve? So we have a pressure relief valve. Number uh, lain. Uh, one is pressure release valve or 
pressure relief valve or safety valve for limiting valve. Okay, so that's the first category. Then we have a pressure sequence valve. Okay, sequence valve and also pressure regulating or reducing valve. Okay, so we'll see quickly one by one. Okay, so pressure relief valve or relief valve or safety valve. Uh, so we can read here. So you only have one input and one ex exhaust. So this valve perform a safety relief function by opening to the atmosphere if the predetermined pressure is exited in the system, thus releasing the excess pressure. Uh, so meaning, so here you can, boleh nampak dekat sini, so you have uh, like adjust the katas. Uh, so you adjust, so you already determine through the adjuster how much pressure you want. Uh, so if the, the pressure from the system is more than what you determine, uh, so yang extra itu dia akan lepas dekat atmosphere. So it will be released to the atmosphere. So uh, for example, so let's say here, in your pressure relief valve, you set uh, 10 bar. 10 bar. Tapi your input is 20 bar. Uh, so meaning additional uh, yang ada adalah 10 bar. So because this is the valve only allow 10 bar inside. So the additional 10 bar will be released to the atmosphere. Because pneumatic is only gas, compressor. So it will be released to the atmosphere. So only 10 bar will enter to the system. Uh, so that's the function of pressure relief valve. Uh, so then we have uh, the second type, pressure sequence valve. So pressure sequence valve meaning, uh, as you can see here, so you have a uh, sequencing. Okay, so you will watch the case but I just explained. So uh, here you have a uh, three over two direction control valve, but you are using a pressure sequence valve to control it. Uh, you can see input yang bagi di case ini. Okay, so once the input is received, it will switch position from normal position to initial position. Okay. So un unless you give this, uh, you this valve cannot function. Uh, so meaning, uh, uh, this pressure sequence valve will be used to give a input to the direction control valve. So that is what we call as a pressure sequence valve. Uh, so if you have more pressure sequence valve, so one after one it will be activating. Uh, so pressure sequence valve macam sensor. So it is acting as a sensor. So when a certain condition is met, then it will release a pneumatic signal to activate this uh, particular cylinder, uh, valve, direction control valve. Okay. As yes, you can see here, so we have an adjustable, uh, adjustable pressure sequence valve. Uh, so we are trying to control this. Okay, so the air is entering. Okay, so air is entering inside uh, and it will be giving a pneumatic signal. Uh, so this is actually it's only one part, one part of the uh, circuit is only showing here, so we cannot see. Uh, but you can see here, so it's uh, it's entering to the through the port two, okay, port two. So it's giving a signal. So here it gives a signal, then it will activate. Uh, so it's actually a sequencing lah. So yani only this part and this is both part. Uh, so, yani, uh, is, you can see, so it already enters here and already activate. So, once it active, uh, so then uh, here it will send signal uh, to the port 2. Okay, so... So example, we will see a few examples. So this is a uh, similar questions that will come out in the test or exam. 
So the, uh, it will give a situation uh, and you need to draw the circuit. Or they will give the circuit, you need to explain what is happening. So sim similar like this. Lah. So we will see in the tutorial, so for the, the more uh, familiar questions in the exam. Okay, for now, we just see this example, example 2.1. So a plastic component is embossed using dye and driven by a double acting cylinder. So you have a double acting cylinder. So what is double acting cylinder? We will see in chapter 3. The dye is to advance and emboss the plastic when push button is operated. The return of the dye is to be affected when the preset pressure is reached. The embossing pressure is to be adjustable. So this is similar kind of uh, situation in the industry. So this is on the embossing. Embossing, maybe logo embossing or something. So Yanni, this uh, suppose the cylinder, once you press the push button, the cylinder ex extend. Then it will wait until a certain pressure is uh, achieved. The so once it's achieved, it will retract back automatically. Okay, that's the uh, situation. Okay, so you can see. So you have uh, this. So this is a safety uh, safety valve. A safety valve in uh, before you start. Here you have a push button to start the operation. Okay, so I think you are you already know how you want to design it. Once you press the push button, so it will initially the cylinder will be retracted. But once you push the push button, it will switch condition from normal, it will become initial, so it will activate this side. Uh, so the compressed air, uh, air will enter through this side. And the cylinder will be extended. So the cylinder will be extended. Once it extend, so it will be connected to. Uh, so it will be connected to the pressure gauge, and also a pressure sequence valve. Uh, once the sequence is achieved, then it will send signal for the cylinder to retract. Uh, so this is a. Uh, simple operation that uh, you can create using fluid sim. Uh, so, we'll watch it, uh, so how the thing is happening. So, this is actually explaining what the question asked you us to do. Okay, then we have a pressure regulating valve. Okay, pressure regulating valve. So you want to cons maintain a constant pressure even with fluctuating supply. So the input pressure must be greater than the required output pressure. So it's almost similar like uh, the first one. So the first the thing on pressure relief. So the pressure relief is more on the safety side, uh, but uh, pressure regulating is something that in the within the circuit so within the circuit so you can see here so this is a symbol so you want to maintain a constant pressure even with the fluctuating supply so you are taking directly from the compressor so uh, supply at the fluctuate so if you are taking from air receiver tank it will be uh, regulated so it will constant supply tapi uh, kalau ada fluctuating supply so you need to use a pressure regulating valve to maintain the pressure, uh, so maintain the pressure. Okay, and the input pressure must be greater than the output pressure. Uh, so you cannot, uh, you cannot like uh, have a situation where the input pressure are lesser. Uh, so your pressure regulating valve you doubly increase the pressure. Uh, so you only can uh, reduce the pressure. Uh, because if you want to increase the pressure, you need your pressure regulating valve must uh, must uh, take uh, the air from the surrounding. Uh, so dia kena melalui compress air. So because you cannot directly take the air from the surrounding, so it must be compressed first. Uh, so dia tak boleh ambil lah, dia tak boleh buat yang tu. 
it must be uh, passing passing through the compressor stage uh. then we have a shut off valve i think this is something that kita biasa tengok uh, i think ai pun ada something like this uh, so it's uh, it's like this uh, so you have a stop cock uh, so you just uh, so this is a symbol so you have a stop cock or you have a ball cock uh, so if you make it like this so parallel to the to the pipe uh, so the air the compressor will pass through and if you move it to 90 degrees uh, then the flow will be stopped or either way okay Okay, then we have uh, one thing, so we call it as a combination valve. Uh, yang ni pun biasa uh, ada dalam exam. Okay, we will require you to use this time delay valve. Uh, so, time delay valve is actually a pneumatic timers. So, you want to create a delay, time delay. So, meaning, uh, uh, let's say your cylinder, uh, extend so after five, five seconds baru retract uh, so you need to use a pneumatic timer to maintain uh, the cylinder in the extended position for five seconds uh, baru dibagi signal for it to retract uh, something similar so we have a normally a normally close or normally open timers so normally close means say uh, at the beginning uh, without compressor it will no connection so normally open means uh, it will have connection. Okay. So time delay. Uh, so this is a common question also. So the, the combine uh, why is co called a combination because it consists of three types of uh, parts. Okay, first is three over two direction control valve. Then we have a one-way flow control valve and we have an accumulator or air reservoir. And the casini are the air reservoir. Okay, so you can see here. So this is a symbol. Yeah, kalau nampak the casini is a big one. Cannot, cannot imagine. Lah. But you can see this symbol. So you can see this is one-way flow control valve. Then you have an accumulator yang benda bulat dekat atas ni. Then you have three over two directional control valve. So you have a one way for control valve. So this will enter here. Uh, so it will pass pass through. Uh, so kalau ada signal, it will go inside. It will pass through. The dia akan masuk dekat accumulator. So bagi udara masuk penuh dulu. Uh, then once it full, then it will give signal to the three over two. Uh, selagi yang ni dia tak penuh. Uh, so this thing is what determine the second okay accumulator the size of the accumulator so kalau dia boleh store udara banyak so udara yang masuk dia, dia akan masuk dulu penuhkan dulu uh, so if the accumulator size is big uh, so it will take more time uh, so depends on your application kalau you na dia contain uh, for longer period uh, your time delay uh, so katakan uh, macam 20 second, uh, 20 second. Uh, so accumulator kena uh, besar lah. So that uh, it, it will take 20 second to fill the accumulator. Uh, selepas 20 second baru dibagi signal. Uh, so similar. Okay so you can see. So it will enter here. So enters to the accumulator penuhkan dulu. Once penuh baru dia akan uh, send signal here for actuation. So there are two methods to increase the delay. Uh, so one, saya uh, beritahu tadi, increase the size of the accumulator. Okay, so size of the accumulator. Uh, so kat katakan yang ni can contain uh, 10 liters. So if you have, if you want more delays, so dari 10, 10 liters, you increase the jadi 50 liters. So the capacity of your time delay will increase by five. Uh, so either you increase the size of this particular one accumulator, ataupun you increase additional accumulator. Uh, 
So maksudnya dia masuk So accumulator 1 penuh Dia masuk Dia bagi signal dekat accumulator 2 so, Udara masuk dekat accumulator 2 So katakan ada 10 accumulator Selepas so, penuh 10 accumulator Then only bagi signal dekat 3 over 2 ha, So can also So that's the first first way The second way So decreasing the valve ha, So you control dekat sini ha, So you pakai 1 accumulator Tapi control the air entering here uh, kalau air, uh, air enters uh, slowly So accumulator pun akan uh, Akan full slowly lah uh, So it will indirectly cause a time, de time delay So this is another famous question also Yang biasa keluar Okay That's one thing uh, So uh, we can see here uh, So this uh, example for a time delay a double acting cylinder is used to press together glued components. Upon operating the push button, the clamping cylinder extends. So, maksudnya, it's a double acting cylinder. Uh, you want to glue component. So, meaning you have something, then you want to glue together. Uh, so, you tekan push button, the cylinder ni extends. Okay. Once the fully advanced position reached, the cylinder is to remain a time for T equals to 6 seconds. Uh, so, soalan selalunya macam ni lah. The questions will be like this. So, meaning it's fully extend. So, fully extend means so you're supposed to have a uh, sensor here to detect whether it's fully extended or not. So, kalau the sensor to detect, so automatically time delay 6 seconds will start. So, after 6 seconds, uh, it will start to retract. Uh, retract to the original position lah. Uh, so, cylinder retraction is adjustable. A new cycle start only if possible if the cylinder is fully retract. Um, ini extend dengan retract ni, uh, dia kena ada sensor untuk check. Okay, so so this is the uh, circuit, pneumatic circuit. So, try create this in your fluid sim. Uh, so, baru you nampak. Okay, so here is connected to, uh, yang ni memang wajib lukis. Okay, so wajib lukis, uh, baru you, uh, you start your uh, circle design. Okay, so here, okay, so you have two sensors to check your cylinder, whether retracted or extended fully. Uh, kalau retracted fully, yang ni akan on. Kalau extended fully, yang ni akan on. Uh, so ada dua sensors. Okay, so yang ni adalah roller sensor, meaning, so you have like this. Uh, so, uh, so, if the cylinder is, because condition that is, cylinder fully retract, uh, so the sensor is on, uh, then only new circuit will start. Okay, so, it's already fully retracted, uh, one S2 is on, so maksudnya yang ni ada connection, so it's already on, and you have a push button. So, push button pun you tekan, yang ni pun on, so it's an end valve, uh, so it will send signal here. Uh, signal here, cylinder can extend. Uh, so, ada throttling. Okay, supply air throttling, meaning the cylinder will extend slowly. So, cylinder extends slowly sampai dekat 1 S3. Uh, so, it's detected that the cylinder is fully extended. Uh, 1 S3 dia akan on, so dia akan masuk dekat sini. Uh, so, you have a time delay valve. So time delay valve, you hanya boleh lukis lah dekat atas ni boleh boleh tulis uh, 6 seconds 6 seconds So udara masuk dekat sini, so it will go to the accumulator fill 6 seconds Then you give uh, input and it will send to the directional control valve for the cylinder to retract uh, So this is the operation of your uh, time delay Okay, so that is practically about chapter 2. Okay, so chapter 2, uh, we, we have covered that. Uh, so I will show the discussion question. Okay, so 
the questions for discussion. Uh, okay. Okay, what is the difference between check valve and spring loaded check valve? Okay, so the additional adalah the spring lah. Okay, so you have a spring here. Okay, spring here to control. So check valve is normally you will allow in one direction, so it will be like this. Uh, so either open or close. But if uh, spring loaded, so the return mechanism will be uh, supported by the spring. So it will only only allow in one direction, meaning if the air is entering here, so it can push this, push this open, then the air can pass through this side. But uh, the closure will be um, based on spring. Uh, if no compressor enough to push this, uh, this will be always closed because of this spring. Uh, but here, you need to manually control. So manually open or close. So that's the difference between check valve and also spring loaded check valve. Okay, so our shuttle valve operate. So I think it's quite easy. Okay, so this is your shuttle valve. So you have two inputs and one output. So shuttle valve, the mechanism will be like this. You have a ball inside. So uh, you have uh, two inputs, uh, A and B. Uh, dual input one, uh, input one and input two. Uh, so if either one is accept, uh, is having the compressor, it will start. Uh, so if the uh, compressor is entering from port A, so it will push this ball to the other side and it will go to C. So if it's only coming from B, so it will push the ball to uh, close here and it will go to C. And if you have both, so both the ball will be at the middle and uh, the compressor will go to port C. Okay, so either one, either one. Okay, so shuttle valve operates when either one of the uh, inputs have a compressor. Okay, so two pressure valve. Why two inputs are required in two pressure valve? Because both are needed to move this thing to the middle. Uh, so if either, only either one, like your all valve earlier, uh, so it will, it will close. So udara masuk dekat sini, so it's not really sufficient. Okay, it's not really sufficient to uh, open this. Uh, actually, uh, they, this is uh, something not true lah, uh, because uh, you're supposed to have a block here, the block. Uh, but here, this gambar, like that, I also will look. Uh, but you suppose uh, one, only one input, this is more on the all wall. Okay, either one. Uh, so, but it's written here, two pressure wall. Uh, okay, sorry, mistake. Uh, so, two pressure wall, two inputs must be needed to maintain uh, this bar at the middle. So that uh, both inputs can be given to start uh, port 2. Okay. So what do you understand by uh, pneumatic cushioning? So pneumatic cushioning is uh, something like, so when you have a cylinder, so cylinder, uh, it will extend or retract. Uh, so they can extend ataupun retract. So when it extend or retract, uh, in pneumatic, it, things will be very fast because uh, you know, uh, pneumatic is famous for uh, its fast response. So you buggy compressor, it immediately extend or retract. Uh, so you don't waste time. Uh, so uh, when you extend or retract without a proper cushioning, so it will damage this uh, piston inside. Uh, they can damage lah. So walaupun you have the absorber ke apa ke, uh, so it will still uh, won't be helpful. So that's why engineers come with uh, this. Uh, there is a mechanism called uh, cushioning, uh, pneumatic cushioning, where you use, it's about compressed air available at the both side. So if compressed air uh, comes here, it will push this, this cylinder backward. Tapi udara memang ada dekat bagian ni juga. So udara yang ada dekat sini, so it will pass through here, 
and it will come this side. So when you have uh, air at the at the opposite direction, uh, so immediately there will be a resistance created here, and this uh, vaginium adrenic black acne there can slow down. Uh, so similar like uh, you you are driving a car, so you are driving at a fast speed. If the airflow is uh, parallel to your driving, so kereta you bergerak dengan dengan selamat lah. So let's say you have angin lintang. So you uh, cross air, cross air is uh, entering. Uh, so dia akan create uh, some kind of resistance. So you nak pandu laju pun, uh, uh, your car will slow down. Uh, so the concept adalah sama. Uh, so you are creating this cross air here. Uh, ataupun angin lintang. So that the udara yang ada dekat sini, it will enter here and it will create a cross air uh, for your cylinder to slow down. Uh, slow down pneumatically. Uh, so, to, so that's a simple mechanism. Lah. So cushioning is uh, quite important either when extend or retract. So normally at the retraction. Okay, what will happen if the total valve close fully? Uh, so kalau total valve close fully, so ada, ada adjuster dekat sini. Close fully, so normally uh, you won't have flow. Lah. So normally the flow will be blocked. Uh, so you cannot uh, close the total valve fully uh, because it will create uh, some damage if it's not properly monitored. Uh, so always it will, you will allow a little bit uh, of opening. Okay, so it won't be closed fully. So what is throttling? So what is throttling? As you can see here, throttling is actually controlling. Uh, so you have a supply, uh, ini gambar, uh, gambar saja lah. Uh, but if you have a pipe and you you squeeze at one one point, uh, so what will happen to this side? So the supply will be uh, reduced because you already control here. So throttling means is actually co controlling, controlling the flow. You are reducing the limit uh, and the speed. You're reducing the speed. So that is what we call as a total. Okay, so I think um, so that's all for discussion today. Any question? Any question uh, regarding the discussion? That is all, right? Okay, so I hope you, you all understand so what we, we have studied in chapter 2, part 2 uh, because uh, it will be a fundamental knowledge for the upcoming uh, design uh, problems. So you need to uh, really understand. Okay, so if no question, uh, we will take a break. Then uh, we will come uh, after 5 minutes. Maybe we will uh, we will start